Hi, I'm Kate Goss and I'll be showing you how I painted this seascape painting. I used a photo from unsplash.com by Faulty Camera. For this project, I'd use four different shades of blue. Cobalt blue, ultramarine, cobalt turquoise, indentrine blue, and one shade of yellow, green gold. And here are the bushes I've used. I'm starting with my sketch with 2B pencil on watercolor paper, 300 grams, a CP. And this size is A4, around A4. And here I'm using my masking fluid to mask first some splashes of colors. As you can see, I'm using old toothbrush first to do some splatter and now just to some, do some irregular shapes, just to mask white color in the painting. You can use hair dryer to dry masking fluid before continuing to the next step. Firstly, I'm painting the sky with just cobalt blue on its own. And as you can see, I'm painting on a dry paper. I didn't wet it, so I'm taking care that it's spread out evenly. When my sky is still wet, I'm adding a distant um, sea level um, using Indan Terrain Blue and a tiny bit of olive green. If you don't have those colors, you can use any dark blue, like Prussian blue and transparent yellow, like Gamboge. Here I add a little bit more water and cerulean blue, and I'm just marking the water in between the waves. So here I'm just starting with ultramarine blue and, and loads of water just to paint the left hand side of the wave. This is the part that's in shade. Here I'm using cobalt turquoise and then cobalt turquoise mixed with green olive. If you don't have those colors, you can use um, any turquoise color or use light blue like cerulean blue and add um, a transparent yellow to it. On this side, I'm adding a bit more uh, ultramarine blue and some mixed um, blues. I'm finishing the foreground with um, ultramarine mix. While the paint is still wet, I'm dropping in a little more yellow into it. After drying out the painting, I'm going over the green wave and painting a few more details with just the wash of cobalt blue and green gold. Uh, when I'm moving into turquoise size, I started using more um, turquoise mixed with cobalt blue rather than uh, green. On the left hand side, I'm using just ultramarine blue with a tiny bit of other blues mi mixed into it. Also using the same shade to paint the distant uh, waves. I'm adding just the clean turquoise cobalt in a couple of places here. Ultramarine blue to paint in the foreground and indentarine blue, really dark blue, um, just to do a bit of more details in the waves. Here I'm using more detail with cobalt blue and yellow and here a mix of indentrine blue, cobalt blue and yellow. More definition in the water adding just uh, ultramarine blue and indentrine blue mix. Here I dried the layer and I'm adding more details with uh, darker and darker colors. Adding some darker color at the bottom of that wave. This is in the terrain blue mixed with copper blue and yellow. I'm adding loads of detail in the wave. Uh, looking at my photo reference, with just darker blue. Uh, you can add a little, bit, a little bit of yellow to it, but basically trying to keep that color um, pretty dark.
Winding some turquoise color, drawing out the layer and removing the mask of lowest. Here I lifted up some paint by wetting it first and then using clean tissue to um, dab it. Um, so there's a few, few little details I'm adding with a mixture of different um, shades of uh, blue and loads of water. Some last touches of cobalt blue and turquoise together and a few more details and I think the painting is finished. So that's a wrap. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this painting took around half an hour. Um, I hope you'll give it a go yourself.